post credit scene, on the other hand, gets me excited because, as I mentioned, I'm a big Florence Pugh Elena fan. We see that she's, you know, paying her respects to her sister, her fallen sister, the fallen Avenger, Nat. She's at the, the grave, which, again, I said in my non spoiler review, I didn't feel like we earn that moment. I really would have loved to have seen like a funeral moment. I know Natasha's very private, but I never felt like this is a character that we're going to see for the very last time, which we're assuming that again, we know from Loki, there's multiple uh, versions of characters in different multiverses. So there's still room for her to come back. But if we're assuming this is the last moment we're seeing Natasha, that moment of her having us somewhat, she didn't even have a funeral. She's just visiting her graveyard. But nonetheless, we see, and I assume too, correct me if I'm wrong, if you guys feel the same way, where they buried Natasha is in the same graveyard that her mom was there. Because I know they mentioned it was a big tree and all that stuff. So I don't know if it was in the same graveyard. And I have to watch the film again to see if we see another uh, headstone with, um, you know, whoever he said unknown was on her grave uh, stone. But I don't know. But nonetheless, we see Valentina crying, pretending to cry. She says he's allergic to the Midwest, which was a funny joke because I'm from the Midwest. But we see that she gives Yelena a mission, a revenge mission of a sorts to get the person to kill the person that killed her sister, that was responsible for the death of her sister. And we see on the iPad that that person is no other than Clint Barton, a.k.a. Hawkeye, a.k.a. Ronan. And that leads the way to what we expect to see Elena, which they mentioned this like months ago. I think they mentioned this last year that Elena was casted, Florence Pugh was casted as Elena to reprise her role in the Hawkeye series. So I'm to assume we're going to transition into the future of the MCU phase four and all that stuff. I'm to assume that Yelena is going to be the pseudo villain for like the first half of the show uh, as, you know, Kate Bishop's learning her ways and learning to become the new Hawkeye as we see maybe Hawkeye or Clint wiping the ledger off his past because he was a murderer for five years between uh, Infinity War and Endgame. So I assume that they're going to be villain, you know, Elena's going to be a villain of a sorts at the beginning of the show and then they're going to eventually come together to maybe take out you know, Valentina and whoever she's working for, which if we to or assume based on the Falcon Winter Soldier, when she recruited the U.S. agent, John Walker, that there may be assembling the Thunderbolts. We have Abomination, we have John Walker, we have an Elena, uh, we have maybe some other characters out there that we haven't seen in a while assembling that team. Very interesting to see how all that plays out. But I like that Elena will be, like I said, the kind of the villain at first. I believe the ultimate villain. I'm not too familiar. I'm going to be reading that uh, Mac Fraction uh, Hawkeye series pretty soon. But I believe the main villain in the Hawkeye series will be Echo, I believe. Uh, a deaf character that is like bullseye meets daredevil type of character. They actually have their own show on Disney Plus coming out in the coming years. So... Really excited for the Hawkeye series. It was already my most anticipated, but now kind of that little Easter egg and kind of that stinger post credit scene really gets me excited for that, which brings me to, I mentioned in my nine spoiler review, this whole film was more of a setup versus it being like an independent kind of like singular vacuum type of film uh, for Black Widow. Uh, but nonetheless, let's talk a little bit more about the future. Will we see Black Widow, Natasha, ever again in the MCU? Will we see a multi-version or a multiverse version of her? Or is this the last time that we will see the character? And if it is the last time, do you feel like the character was due justice in this film? Or do you want to see the character again in the future? Let me know your thoughts and then the comments. Me personally, I'm okay with this being the, the passing of the baton to Natasha, to her younger sister, um, Yelena, because phase four is all about passing the baton. We see uh, for or characters evolving, right? We see Wanda become a Scarlet Witch. We see a Vision become White Vision and Wanda Vision. Falcon and Winter Soldier, Falcon becomes Captain America. Bucky releases, releases himself from his trauma. Uh, John Walker becomes U.S. agent. Um, we see in Loki so far a newer version of Loki, right, with uh, Sylvia. And then even in the future stuff that we've gotten, Hawkeye passing the mantle to Kate Bishop, uh, Young Avengers being introduced. We see, you know, maybe, you know, Joaquin becoming the new Falcon that we got from Falcon and Winter Soldier. We also have, you know, She-Hulk series, you know, the Hulk passing the mantle to a source to his uh, his cousin. Um, you know, we, we, we're going to see, uh, you know, other characters evolving, replacing characters, potentially Thor and, you know, uh, Jane Foster becoming Thor. Is that a transition of a character per se? You you know, we're going to get Riri Williams, Iron Man from Tony Stark to this version of Iron Heart. So there's a lot of passing the baton, passing the mantle to new characters in the MCU. Uh, and, and I'm really 
interested to see if we will never see Natasha again. But let me know your thoughts on that. So the future looks bright. Again, I gave this film a three out of five. You can see my full spoiler-free review as far as like more analytically what didn't work and what, what worked for me in the film. And I kind of talked about it a little bit in my breakdown here. But I gave it a three out of five. It's a solid film, very formulaic to the MCU. I felt like Kate Shortlet didn't really bring her sensibilities into the film. It was just more of like setting up Young Avengers, setting up, you know, Yelena as the villain potentially for Hawkeye and not really focusing on all the stuff that I was really hoping to get for Natasha's story and even getting a funeral of a sorts. I really didn't feel that for the character. And I said it in my non spoiler review that I feel like you could have literally took Natasha out of the story and it still could have been a cohesive story with Yelena going on this mission to stop the Red Room. So I have my pros, I have my cons uh, with the film, but it, I am excited to see what they do with this particular threat line. I still don't feel like this would have been... If, you know, everything didn't uh, pan out the way it did with this film being delayed, I don't really see how this is like the kickoff point to a phase four. And I'm really interested to see what phase four is leading to, because so far, based on WandaVision, we're, we're dealing with magic. You know, we get a new Captain America and Falcon and Winter Soldier. We have Loki introducing the, the multiverse. I don't really know where the narrative, you know, obviously... Phase one was setting up the Avengers. Phase two was gearing up to prepare for the Infinity Stones and Thanos. And obviously phase three was all of Thanos and the Infinity Saga. But I don't know, based on these three shows and this one movie, what we're gearing towards. Is you know, we have the grounded heroes with Falcon and Winter Soldier in this movie. We have the mystical side with Wanda and, you know, the more galactic stuff with Loki. Where are we going with Phase 4 so far? Besides, like I said, the running theme is Young Avengers replacing the old Avengers with new Avengers. But what are we gearing towards? I don't know if Black Widow is the perfect Phase 4 film to kind of lay the groundwork for what we can expect to see in this phase. Make sure you like the video, share the video, leave all your thoughts in the comments below. Your pros, your cons, your thoughts, your theories, your predictions for the rest of Phase 4. And let's have a discussion about it. As always, like, share, comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell. That way you don't miss any of my other content. Hope you all enjoyed this breakdown. Hope you're staying safe, and we'll see you in the next video.